Hello, Demonome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this level 1 noob unlock the new rework powers of the Gumfruit in update 6 of King Legacy. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. With the actors, slam. Oh, there yes. Dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hi guys, so it's been a while, no updates in Bloodfruits, but here we are in King Legacy and we got update 6 and the new Gumfruit. So as you can see, someone's already flexing his, uh, I think this is the gear, 3rd or 4th, there you go, <laughs> not bad. So guys, let's help this noob now. And a shout out to my brother, the sponsor of this Gumfruit, there you go, Hari Nam Maha Pirata, and check this out. Another beggar, please, fruit. Hmm. Okay, so sure, sure, sure. I'm gonna give you the fruit, the gum fruit, but let me eat it first. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. We need the fruit for grinding. Okay, so guys, as you can see, our first kill, the mortar. There you go. Okay, not bad. I am so excited on grinding this fruit now, but guys, there are some new codes and some existing codes that might help. The new players out there so for the first code we have update we have update 6 for 10 copper keys so let's use it what will we get from this copper keys so oh human fruit so guys what do you think should i open a 100 or 200 copper keys to find out if we will be getting legendary fruits from it comment it in the comment section and i'll post that video immediately if you want it okay so bomb fruit spike for oh not bad spike fruit's really good anyway other uh, codes, Dino X Live for 100k and I think it's PU Dice. There you go, PU Dice 100k again and the gem, yeah, PU Dice 10k. There you go, 10 gems, and that's it. Now, guys, for grinding, we won't be using the baby snake quest because again, we need jumps, so you need 50 levels for that. There you go, so we're gonna skip that and start defeating the soldiers. So, guys, rubber fruit, it has a left click. There go check that out guys m1 left click but there is no damage yet because we have no stats on the fruit yet also it has force i don't know how it works as you can see guys mortar no damage yet so we're gonna use our uh there you go combat smash and level up once now we have the stats to put on our uh, fruit stat okay there you go fruit stat now let's try the mortar bang easy guys so first we're gonna defeat soldiers until we reach level, I think it's 20. Yes, yeah, so we can start defeating Smokey. So 1v1 Smokey. We have two uh, skills. I mean, one M1 and Z skill to damage Smoker or Smokey. Also, guys, you can get a sword from this mob. Is it the GTA? Yeah, I think it's the GTA. There you go. You can also get bounties. So guys, we're gonna grind here until level 30 and after that, we're gonna defeat Tashi. Yeah, Tashi's next. There you go. See that sword? Okay, so for Tashi, guys, be more careful because this uh, character can one-hit you. Especially if you don't add some defense or HP stats to your character. Yeah, this can one-hit you, I'm telling you guys. So guys, it's good that they... Oh, see that? It's good that they added an M1. Yeah, just like with Blocks Roots. So that you don't need to use combat or sword just to damage or lure your enemies. Actually, the enemies here are uh, aggro or aggro. Sorry. There you go. Oh, see that guys? One hit from him. It's kind of strong to be honest. Anyways, target level here is level 50. Go and for our stats, 100. So we will be unlocking the Exisil Cannonade. So guess what can you say? Is it better compared to the previous gum fruit? Obviously, yes. Oh, we also got the Tashi Blade from Tashi. So two swords unlocked. There go. Anyways, one more Tashi using our Cannonade. There you go. Boom. Oh, the sound effects. Boom. <laughs> left click and one more Mortar and Cannonade. No, left clicks. Yeah. Bang. Okay, guys. Level 51. So next area here. Oh, one more. Okay, one more. Next area, guys, is the Pirate Village. So, guys, here uh, resides, I think, the uh, Clown Swordsman. 
Pirate Village or Clown Village? Yeah, Pirate Village. Clown Swordsman. There go. I think you need to defeat five or six. Is it five? Yeah, five. So guys, after that, we can start defeating Buggy the Clown. So update on the stats: two hundred fruit. You will be unlocking the glide skill. So guys, you can use this to fly. There you go. This is. I think this is the new one, new skill. And also, it has a meter. So once you exhaust all the meter, you you will stop using this skill. So, okay, no damage. So guys, let's start defeating the clown or buggy, the new emperor in one piece. There you go, leader of the cross guilds. But yeah, that's just a mistake. Anyway, left click, cannonade, mortar, and left clicks. There you go. So gamer gnome. Is gum fruit a good fruit to grind with? Hmm. Guys, if you're gonna ask me, comparing it to the other fruits, no. <laughs> but PvP, yeah, I think it's good. So next up, Soldier Island. As you can see, we are grinding in the public server. Lots of fruit users. Soul fruit, fruit, <laughs> fruit, and uh, what do you call that? Control fruit. Anyways, first target here are the commanders. There you go. Very easy. So keep grinding here. And after that, the Axe Hand Man. Is it the Axe Hand Man or did they change it? It's been a while since I played the game. There you go. Update. C skill multi barrel is unlocked. So I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. See that, guys? The damage is not that high, but it can stun the enemy. Question If you increase the strength, damage, or the melee, will the uh, multi barrel skill increase damage? Comment in the comment section. I think no guys, this is focus on the fruit skills. So guys, next up, the captain. So guys, oh, captain first before the axe hand man. So guys, again, for our stats, we have low melee and defense here. So most of the mobs here can one-hit our character. We just focused on the damage. Okay, 145. There you go. Oh, they changed the name, the barbaric. Now it's called the barbaric. Sandman. Hmm. I forgot the names. <laughs> also, you can buy the Sorrow here for 50,000 bellies. Here is the Barbaric. So guys, as you can see, is this new? There is a cooldown now on the teleport. Not bad. Shout out to the developers. And check that damage out. Also guys, since Gumfruit is short to mid-range, there is a high chance that you will get damage. So if you plan on using this fruit might as well increase the defense okay not like the other fruits or logia fruits right mostly long range also it has logia effect so yeah focus on increasing your defense okay so guys target leveliers level 200 we will be skipping the first mobs set of mobs in the next island so here it is we're just gonna fly towards that island there go Shark Island, right? So Shark Island, guys, first target here is the Karate Fishman. So again, we skip the first set of mobs here because before the update, yeah, I don't know if they're near to each other now, but they're so far apart and you need to lure, I think, three or five just to defeat them. So that's a lot slower compared to defeating the Barbaric or this Karate Fishman, okay? So just focus here to make things faster. There you go. Next up, Shark Man. Level 230. And yes, this one is strong, I think. We died. Uh, I, wish I died like twice here. Guys, you also need to get the timing, okay? Like, use your left click, use your Z and X skill. See that? I died. Use your Z and X skill, then your, your multi barrel, and after that, uh, while using the C skill, your Z and X skill will cool down. And you can use them again, okay? So that your enemy won't have a chance to attack you. Okay, so guys, target here is level 300, and after that, here are the stats. Target here is 1,000 fruit stats, so we're almost there, 300. So I think this is the last area to grind with the chef ship. Okay, so first here is Dark Leg, the Sanji of this uh, game. <laughs> Okay, so I think guys we will be reaching 1,000 stats here. So guys, what do you think? Should we continue grinding this one? Just the grinding. Reach max level, unlock gear 2, 3, or 4. Oh, no, no, no. No gear 4 yet. 
I don't know if they they will be adding it, but Gears 1 to 3. Oh, Gear 4, yeah, yeah. I think we have the Gear 4. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> if you want, I'm gonna play it 1 to max. And here it is, Dory, the final mob. Before we reach level, uh, I mean, 1,000 fruit, and we will be showcasing the V-Skill. Because again, this is Gear 2, right? So when you activate Gear 2, we will have a new set of Z, X, C, and E-Skill. Okay, so guys, that's it for Dory. I think we will be reaching level, uh, I mean, 1,000 fruit stats here. Okay, there you go. Let's check the stats. At level 386. There you go, guys. Finally, 1,000 stats. Now we can use a transform. Okay? So let's fight Dory. But before that, we will be transforming. This is gear 2, right? Gear 2. Gear Secondo. There you go, guys. Wow. So now we have the C skill, Inferno Hawk. First, M1. That's it, M1. Looks faster now, M1. This is the Z skill. There you go. Red Hawk, right? On One Piece. Turbo Cannon. That's next. And next up is Jet Barrel. So, guys. Obviously, it's stronger. Looks better. Last one is the Super Glide. I think it's faster now. Question is, does it have a damage? So let's try it. Can it damage the enemy? Okay, one more time. Turbo Cannon. Guys, what is the best skill of this transform form? For me, it's the Inferno Hawk, right? It is a skill. Uh, Based on Dumb Fruit plus Ace, Ace's Fire. Oh, we died. Anyway, guys, that's it. New skills. What do you think? I hope that you enjoyed this one. I'll be posting more videos from now on. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. See you in my next video. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.